Hello students, uh, we have left one theorem on the uh, from inverse Laplace transform which is quite uh, uh, important for our syllabus. So we will see what that theorem said to us and it is uh, well known as Herbicide Expansion Formula Herbicide Expansion Formula And the statement of this theorem is As follows Let F of X of S B2 polynomials B2 polynomials in S where degree of F of S degree of F of S is less than degree of g of s and if g of s has n distinct That is alpha i, i coming from 1 to n, that is g of s is equal to s minus alpha 1, s minus alpha 2, s minus alpha n, then inverse Laplace transform of f of s g of s is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n f of alpha i g dash of alpha i e raised to alpha i t First of all, understand what is the statement said about this theorem. We have two polynomial in which one is f of s and second is g of s. We two polynomial in s where degree of f of s is less than degree of g of s. This degree of f of s is less than degree of g of s. Correct? It is given. And if G of S has n distinct zeros, that is alpha n, where i is 1 to n, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n, and G of S is equal to x minus alpha i, alpha 1, s minus alpha 2 into s minus alpha n, then inverse the transform of the f of s upon G of S is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n f of alpha i upon g dash of alpha i into e raised to alpha i t. Correct. Since given f of s and g of s are Two polynomial where G of S has n distinct and distinct roots, say alpha i. So we can write it as f of S upon G of S is equal to f of s as it is s minus alpha 1 s minus alpha 2 uh, s minus alpha n since g of s has n 
zeros and this is zeros so we can solve it by using fractional method a1 a2 is equal to s minus b dot 2 a3 
2 dash of the power n, 1 upon s minus the power n, and taking inverse the plus transform on both sides, we will get. We will get f of alpha 1 g dash of alpha 1 e raised to alpha 1 t f of alpha 2 g dash of alpha 2 e raised to alpha 2 t Similarly, in this manner we will get f of alpha n g dash of alpha n e raised to alpha n and we can write it as follows i is equal to 1 to n f of alpha i g dash of alpha i e raised to alpha i and it is the required result for this theorem and we have easily proved that theorem uh, whenever we come across a example which has polynomial in numerator and denominator and degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator we can use recite expression formula to solve that type of example and today we will stop at this point we will start uh, some example from next lecture till then thank you bye